like uh, and the guys well. love to talk about what books because i'm dating right now mm. and everyone's like that's their conversation starter the books and I'm, yeah they're like they want to talk about what books they're reading which is a oh, great wow i'm impressed that a guy's reading a book yeah no this last guy i was talking to was giving me book recommendations he was so cool and then he's like what about you and i was like we don't know each other that well yet <laughs> i was like that's that's really vulnerable for me <laughs> like i'll show you a picture of my pussy but i'm not i'm not sending i'm not telling not you what my i'm reading shelf. yeah <laughs> I'll show you my pussy, but not my not book, book show. show. Not my book show. No. <laughs> it's too intimate. No, it's like how people are like, I'll fuck you over holding hands. You know, that whole conversation yes. of what's more intimate, holding hands Ooh. or having sex. What? What mm. is? Holding hands while having sex. Oh, that's the most intimate. I like that, though. <laughs> and eye contact. Oh, hands, full eye contact. Eye contact, sex. That's like the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so interesting. Like. Yeah, and then guys always think I'm into because I don't. T I really don't tell them what books I read, mm -hmm. and they all they think I'm into those erotic. Romance. Yeah, I read the ones they're not too sexual, but Matt makes fun of me that called smut books. I didn't know all that's the what names they were called. are so hilarious. Smut? I just learned that smut books, but it's like not Fifty Shades of Grey. It's like a romantic book that finally builds to this one scene where they like. Uh, I was just saying telling him this but like where they're like he unzips his pants like it all builds to that one hookup i like that i like the build up yeah i like the build up but it doesn't need to go into much detail for me it's still like right i just like the cute meat aspect yeah that is that is what i like porn doesn't have enough of that they need to show what pull her heartstrings and then pull her hair yeah because they just show up and the storyline is like two minutes <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like <laughs> banging. Yeah, there's not even they need like foreplay, mental heart foreplay in porn. Yeah, I like the ones where they're like, "I'm your boss, <laughs> and I shouldn't be doing this." Or, oh, you know, it's really bad though. I don't know what this says about me. Someone can <laughs> dissect me. Comment below. <laughs> Comment below and let me know. But I love affair porn. Oh, oh yeah. Or dad and babysitter. Like, Which is kind of still a fair porn because just like taboo, like you, sh you should not be doing this. Yeah, I think a fair porn would be dad and babysitters. That's a little much for you. <laughs> I'm like, he needs to be old and she needs to be young. <laughs> and he's not going to give her the money. I was just going to say he better pay her well. <laughs> he, he better give her enough to go to the mall that weekend. Yeah, normally, yeah, normally you never see them get paid. Actually, that's messed up. It's messed up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, what does that say about me that I like that? And also, like, I would get off on the idea of my last boyfriend like cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> like something's wrong. I would be like, ooh, maybe he had a girl over this weekend, and then I <laughs> fantasize him hooking up with someone else, and then I would. And that would get you. Yeah. I don't know. That's definitely fucked up. It's so fucked up. I'm like, something's <laughs> not right with me. I think any scenario that's wrong, though, is hot. So I think it's just that. Right. If I we, know. If we want to make it not seem <laughs> that, I just bad. like I literally, I'm like, how am I going to tell this to, like, my future husband? Like, hey, <laughs> it turns me on when you cheat on me. <laughs> 